Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. I realize it's been a couple of weeks since my last video and I am sorry about that. Uh, on our last video we were uh, doing chronograph uh, with InfluxDB for the data. So we were using chronograph kind of as an alternate um, for Grafana. If, uh, you were looking for something different there. So, um, so this video is going to be about telegraph which will also work with chronograph and InfluxDB and everything. So um, it's pretty cool for creating um, graphs with, uh, on our Docker stats because it pulls in all that information into Telegraph. So uh, there's some other cool stuff that you can do with Telegraph as well. We'll probably do a follow-up video before too long, but this one at least gets you started getting it installed and uh, kind of show you how you can create some pretty cool graphs uh, on your Docker stats. Some really neat stuff. So here uh, is a page to kind of get you started. This is kind of where I've got all my information on installing Telegraph and how it works with uh, InfluxDB and Chronograph and everything. So uh, I'll have the link in the description below, but this is kind of uh, what I use to kind of get myself going and get it started and everything set up. I really like uh, Chronograph and, uh, you know, it's uh, functionality with InfluxDB and now with Telegraph is I think they all work well together, so um, I've been pretty pleased with them so far. I think it's definitely worth giving it a try. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course we're going to start by uh, creating a uh, config directory for uh, Telegraph. Uh, once we do that, we are basically ready to install our Telegraph Docker container. Uh, once that is done and installed, then we are going to uh, check our telegraph config and chronograph make sure everything looks good and then lastly uh, we're just going to create some uh, graphs of our docker stats uh, show you how that kind of works uh, with telegraph and chronograph and everything so let's get started all right so here we are at the command line Went with a different color scheme this time uh, hopefully uh, We'll see how this works uh, in comparison to the uh, black that we were using before. Uh, but I am basically in my uh, Docker host. And I'm going to create a directory in my home directory called Telegraph. So we'll do a mkdir Telegraph. Go ahead and move in there. So nothing in there yet, but uh, we do have the folder created. So that's what we wanted to do for this step. Once that's done, we're going to move on to the next one. All right, so we're still here in our uh, Docker host on the command line. So we're going to go ahead uh, and use Docker Compose to create this Docker container. So I'm going to move into my Docker Compose directory and do a vi docker-compose.yaml. And of course, I'm going to look for an open spot down here towards the bottom. We'll just throw it right underneath the uh, chronograph container we already have set up. I'm going to call mine Telegraph, and of course the container name will also be Telegraph. Image uh, is going to be Telegraph. And we'll set the uh, restart to uh, always. Now we do need to set a couple of environment variables here. so. Uh, under environment, we're going to have one for host underscore proc. And I'll set this to slash root fs slash proc. Next one will be host underscore sys. And we'll set that to slash root slash sys. And host underscore etsy. And we'll set that to slash root slash etsy. Now for volumes, you really only need to uh, set up a couple of volumes here. First one will be our uh, telegraph config directory that we created uh, at the start of this video. So uh, mine was in my home directory. So slash home slash Adrian slash telegraph. And I'm going to point that to and I'm going to point that to slash Etsy slash Telegraph. And for the uh, second 
volume that we need to uh, have in here, we're going to point it to our docker.sock. So we'll do slash var slash run slash docker.sock colon slash var slash run slash docker.sock. And then of course we're going to point uh, our slash sys to root fs slash sys and slash proc will point to slash root fs slash proc and then of course etsy will point to slash root fs slash etsy now for links i want this to be linked to our influx db um, container as well so uh, kind of similar to what we did with chronograph we'll have a links in there and point it to influx db which is the name of our influx db container uh, now for ports we're going to use 8092 uh, colon 8092 and we're going to do a slash UDP because uh, we don't need everything for that, just UDP traffic. We're also going to do 8094 colon 8094. We'll just leave that for everything. And then we also need 8125 colon 8125 and we'll do a slash UDP on that as well. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And then of course we're going to do a uh, sudo docker-compose up-d to install our docker container. And we'll give that a little bit to install. Once that's done, we can go ahead and jump over to Portainer to take a look at that. So we'll click on Telegraph here. Everything looks good. It's got our environment variables. All of our volumes are there. I think we are good to go. We're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so let's jump over to uh, Chronograph and just confirm that our telegraph configuration everything looks good and is set up and ready to go for uh, it to function with uh, telegraph so we'll go to configuration i'm just going to click on the existing uh, database for influx that we already have there and since we called ours telegraph that's what we called it uh, in the install as well so that should be fine we didn't make any custom names or anything for that so really that is all you need to do uh, as far as making sure that your telegraph will be able to communicate with chronograph and vice versa so let's go ahead and move on to the last step one last thing i want to do is just uh, create some graphs in chronograph similar to what we did on the last video but using uh, our data that we we're pulling in with telegraph and really uh, use it to kind of monitor our Docker statistics for all of our Docker containers. So we're going to create a new dashboard. Uh, I'm going to give it a name. We're going to call it Docker Stats. You can call it whatever you want. And let's add our data for our, uh, our graph here. So I'm going to call this one CPU Usage. And see down here at the bottom, instead of going to our home assistant like we did last time, we're going to click on telegraph.autogen. And then from here, we're going to look for docker container underscore CPU. We're going to do a search by container name. And then we can just start adding these in here. So, of course, you see all the docker containers I have listed out here. We'll start with the has. We're going to click on usage percent in the fields. We'll change the fill to none. And of course we're gonna click on function and change it from mean to last. Hit apply there. And just as before, I'm gonna go over here and change the last usage percent and we're gonna call this has mean 
we'll just put a percent symbol next to it hit submit query <clears throat> under visualization we'll change the on the legend we'll go ahead and show it hit the checkbox there and of course we'll change the uh, time on the graph we'll say the past 24 hours So that's our CPU usage for our has Docker container for the last 24 hours. Let's go ahead and pull that all the way over here so we can get a better look at it. So we can leave it like that if we want, or we can just add, you know, all of the Docker containers into one graph and be able to visualize all of them. We'll hit the, we'll add one more here. We'll hit the plus for a second query. We'll do the same thing. We'll go to uh, telegraph.autogen. Uh, we're going to select Docker Container CPU, and let's pick a different one. We'll go with Chronograph uh, Docker Container here. We'll set the usage to, or set it to usage percent. Set the fill to none. Change the function, of course, from mean to last, and hit apply. And again, we'll go ahead and change the name over here to. Uh, chronograph percent uh, submit query so it changed the color as so he has is now purple chronograph is blue doesn't show up uh, too well uh, it looks like there's not a lot of resources being used by chronograph probably so that's okay. At least you have an idea of what that looks like. And of course you can do that for all of them. Um, I'll, uh, I'll kind of fast forward through that just to kind of show you what that looks like. Here we go. So I've added the majority of my Docker containers here and you can see all of them and uh, what the usage uh, comparison is between all of them for CPU. So it's pretty cool. I mean, that's a neat looking graph. Uh, I like the color scheme. Uh, you can see which ones are spiking at various times uh, and everything. So I think that looks pretty awesome. So again, this is just something cool that you can use to monitor your Docker stats if you want. And then, of course, you'll be able to use this graph in uh, some sort of uh, tile board or dashboard uh, to view them along with Home Assistant and everything there. So again, pretty cool uh, feature with Telegraph and Chronograph and InfluxDB and everything. Um, I really like it. Again, I'm still playing around with it, so it's still fairly new to me, but uh, I plan on doing another video with Telegraph and pulling in some network SNMP data as well and kind of showing you how you can monitor some network stats and stuff for your Docker containers and whatnot as well. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course we started out by creating our uh, config directory for Telegraph. Uh, once that was done, we basically installed our Telegraph Docker container uh, using Docker Compose. Uh, once that was done, we uh, logged into uh, Chronograph and just made sure that we had the correct uh, config for Telegraph and everything so that they can communicate and everything. And then, of course, lastly, we just created some graphs, just kind of showed you what that looked like uh, and how you could uh, monitor your Docker stats uh, within Chronograph uh, using Telegraph as well. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.